Yo, what's good, everybody? Um, today we're just gonna be simplifying this expression, and it may look kind of crazy right now, but it's actually pretty easy. Now, first thing I'm gonna do right off the bat is I'm gonna reduce the 18 to the negative nine. So I'm gonna completely get rid of this negative nine, and what you're left with is a negative two. So we're gonna rewrite it as negative two b to the negative third, c to the negative six, d to the fourth, all over b to the negative seven, c squared, and d, all over to the negative second power. Next, what you want to do is, we can't have any negative exponents anywhere, so we're going to have to get rid of them, and to get rid of them, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is say, move this negative b to the negative third to the bottom, and this b to the negative seventh would come up. So you just move it from denominator to numerator, numerator to denominator, whatever, you know. So we're going to do that throughout the whole thing. And what you're left with is negative 2, b to the seventh, and d to the fourth over b to the third, c squared, c to the sixth, and a d to the negative second. Now what we want to do is basically combine like terms or basically get rid of them so like this b to the third here and b to the seventh this b to the third will completely go away and you're left with four and you have one d down here so you basically get rid of it we're subtracting so d to the third and these two will add them together to get c to the eighth so rewrite it as negative two b to the fourth, d to the third, all over c to the eighth. And now we have to put this negative two in to every term. But you can't just plug it in right away. So we're going to actually write it out. And it's going to be kind of long, but it's OK. So we're basically going to have negative two to the negative second power, b to the fourth, to the negative second and d to the third to the negative second all over c to the eighth to the negative second and now what do we have again we have negative exponent so we're just basically going to move this entire numerator the entire uh, you know all the numbers in the numerator to the denominator and this denominator moves up to the numerator so what you're left with is c to the eighth to the second power all over negative two squared b to the fourth squared and d to the third squared and now you just basically you know multiply so you left with uh, c to the sixteenth all over 4, negative 2 squared is a positive 4, b to the 8th, and d to the 6th, and that's the fully simplified, you know, you can't go any further than that, alright.